we are given some information on the stock of company PQR. We have a three period binomial tree that shows possible prices the stock of this company could take over next three periods of six months each. Currently the stock price denoted by S0 equals 100 and in each period the stock price could go up by a factor U which equals 1.2 or it could go down in each period by a factor D which equals 0.8. The risk neutral probability of stock price going up in each period is Q and the risk neutral probability of stock price going down in each period is 1 minus Q. We are also told that there is a put option on the stock with strike price equal to 100 and time to maturity of 1.5 years. The continuously compounded discount rate is 5%. So it's a three period binomial tree and the length of each period denoted by delta T equals the time to maturity of this option divided by the number of periods which equals 0.5 years. We are asked to calculate the value of Q and price of the option at time T equals zero. Let's start by calculating the value of Q. The risk neutral probability of stock price going up equals exponential of the discount rate times delta T minus D divided by U minus D. Plugging in the values, we get exponential of the discount rate of 5% and delta T equals half a year minus D, which equals 0.8 divided by U, which equals 1.2 minus D again. And this equals 0.56. So the risk neutral probability of stock price going up in each period is 0.56. In a binomial tree model, we first calculate the payoffs of the option at the terminal nodes and then work backwards through the tree to price this option. So the payoff of put option equals the maximum of the strike price minus the terminal value of the stock price or zero. Using this payoff function, let's calculate the payoffs of this option at the terminal nodes. So in a year and a half, when stock price goes up from 100 to 172.8, the option is out of money as the stock price is greater than the strike price, so the payoff of this option is zero. Similarly, when stock price goes up to 115.2, the option is again out of money and the payoff is zero. Now when the stock price goes from 100 down to 76.8, the option is in the money as strike price of 100 is greater than the stock price. Therefore, the payoff of this option is 100 minus 76.8, which equals 23.2. And finally, when the stock price goes down to 51.2, the option is in the money and hence the payoff is 100 minus 51.2, which equals 48.8. Since this is an American option, the holder has the right to exercise the option before maturity. Hence, as we work backwards through the tree to price this option, at each node we will check the value of early exercise against that calculated by discounting the expected payoffs and following no arbitrage rule, we will take the greater of the two values. So let V S T denote option value when stock price is S at time T. Then the value of option at time T equals the value of the option when stock price goes up from S to SU at time T plus delta T times the risk neutral probability that the stock price will go up plus 
the value of the option when stock price goes down from S to SD at time T plus delta T times the risk neutral probability that the stock price will go down. And this expected value of the option is discounted at the risk free rate over time period delta T. So in a year's time, when stock price is 144, the value of the option equals the value of the option when stock price goes up from 144 to 172.8, and we just calculated this to be zero, times the risk neutral probability that stock price will go up, which we just calculated to be 0.56, plus the value of the option when stock price goes down from 144 to 115.2, and that's zero times the risk neutral probability that stock price will go down. And this value is to be discounted at the risk-free rate of 5% over half a year. And this equals zero. So the value of the option as calculated by discounting the expected payoffs is zero. On the other hand, since stock price is 144, which is greater than the strike price of 100, the exercise value is also zero as the option is out of money. Therefore, the option value at this node is zero. Similarly, in a year's time, when stock price is 96, the value of the option equals the value of the option when stock price goes up from 96 to 115.2, and that's zero times the risk neutral probability of stock price going up, plus the value of the option when stock price goes down from 96 to 76.8. And we just calculated the payoff at that node, which is 23.2 times the risk neutral probability that stock price will go down. This is to be discounted at the risk free rate of 5% over half a year. And this equals 9.96. At this node, the value of early exercise equals the strike price of the option, which is 100, minus the stock price, which is 96. This equals 4. Since the value of the option, as calculated by discounting the expected payoffs, is greater than the value of early exercise, we follow the no arbitrage rule and take the value of 9.96. 9 now when the stock price equals 64 in a year's time, then value of the option equals the value of this option when stock price goes up to 76.8, that's 23.2 times the risk neutral probability of stock price going up, which is 0.56, plus the value of this option when stock price goes down to 51.2, and we calculated the payoff at that node to be 48.8 times the risk neutral probability of stock price going down, which is 1 minus 0.56. And this expected value is to be discounted at the risk free rate of 5% over half a year. And this equals 33.6. So the value of this option as calculated by discounting the expected payoffs is 33.6. Let's check the value of early exercise, which equals the strike price of 100 minus the stock price of 64, which equals 36. Following no arbitrage, we will take the greater of the two. Now let's suppose for a second that if the value of the option when stock price is 64 in a year's time equals 33 spot 6, then an investor would immediately buy the option at 33.6 
and exercise the option to gain a payoff of 36. So the arbitrage profit equals 36 minus 33.6, which equals 2.4. It is to avoid this arbitrage profit that we take the greater of the value of early exercise or the value calculated by discounting the expected payoffs. In six months time, when stock price equals 120, the value of the option equals the value of the option when stock price goes up to 144, and that's zero, times the risk neutral probability of stock price going up plus the value of the option when stock price goes down to 96, that's 9.96, times the risk neutral probability of stock price going down. And this expected value is discounted at the risk-free rate of 5% over half a year. And this equals 4.2. Seven. The stock price of 120 is greater than the strike price of 100, so there's no early exercise value, and hence the value of the option at this node is 4.27. Similarly, when stock price is 80 in six months' time, the value of the option equals the value of the option when stock price goes up from 80 to 96 and the value is 9.96 times the probability of stock price going up plus the value of the option when stock price goes down from 80 to 64 and that's 36 times the probability of stock price going down and this expected payoff is to be discounted at 5% over half a year, which equals 20.89. Let's check value of early exercise at this node. So early exercise value equals the strike price of the option minus the stock price of 80, which equals 20. Since value of early exercise of 20 is less than the value calculated by discounting the expected payoffs, the value of the option at this node is 20.89. Finally, at time t equals 0, which is today, the value of the option equals the value of the option, if stock price goes from 100 to 120, that's 4.27 times the risk neutral probability of stock price going up, plus the value of the option, if stock price goes down to 80, that's 20.89 times the risk neutral probability of stock price going down. This is to be discounted at the risk-free rate over half a year. And this equals 11.29. So 11.29 is the value of this option at time t equals zero. If there are any questions or comments, please feel free to post. Thank you.